Good morning, I'm George from One Stop Scooter Shop. This morning we're going to go through a few basic maintenance procedures, starting with an oil change. And let me show you how that's done. I've got a 17 millimeter socket on this ratchet here, and we're going to remove the drain plug. And we've got a pan here to allow it to catch the oil, of course. You want to make sure you retrieve that plug and the washer. Inspect the washer, make sure it's in good condition, and as well as the threads of the bolt itself. Everything looks good here. We're going to go on the other side now and open up the filter housing while this is draining. Again, a 17 millimeter we're using to remove the housing. This time a wrench. Breaker free. It's kind of hard to see, but once I remove it, you'll see the what this comprises of. We've got a cap, we've got a spring, and the filter itself, which is a screen designed to collect any metal particles or anything that can end up in the engine oil. Now I'm going to clean these guys. So that clean screen is nice and clean. Everything else there looks good. Our O-ring's in good shape. Not torn, seated properly. Now we'll start assembling it. And this is how it goes back together. The cap, the screen, excuse me, the cap, the spring, and then the screen. And we're going to carefully insert it into the engine, the opening in the engine here. Takes a little maneuvering due to the tension of the spring, but once you grab the thread, she, she threads right in properly. And there we go. And we want to tighten that right on down, nice and snug. And that's good. So now our filter is clean. We're going to put the plug back in the old sump and add oil. Nice and tight, all sealed up. Okay, for this particular machine, it takes 750 milliliters of oil. Here at One Stop Scooter Shop, we use a good quality Bell Ray oil. For this time of the year, we're using a 1040 weight. I recommend a, a decent oil in these. Each, each machine takes a little less than a quart, so it isn't too much of an expense to get a decent oil. Now we're going to fill the sump. We've got our 750 milliliters. That's pretty much it on this. We're going to put our cap back on and we're going to double check our level. But this isn't where it has a screen filter, it doesn't have a paper filter, so there's no saturation involved. You don't have to go back in and top things off once the filter's like, a, like an automobile where you have to saturate the filter. So 750 milliliters and you're good to go. On this stick, we like it right there. 
That's where she belongs.